Welcome back to the Tracy Boards Battle in the Basement. We got these two combatants going at it uh, for match number three of their head-to-head -head battle that all took place on the same day. It's Jeremy Tracy doing battle with Simon Dowrick. And uh, you see Tracy opens up with a open 20. And Simon came up just a little short on his 20. And Jeremy is able to drop the 20 but not get the off, which uh, it's not too bad because uh, even with Simon dropping his second mm -hmm. shot, he's Jeremy's still up uh, two to one in the 20s, although Simon mm -hmm. does have hammer, so he's not really, uh, can't relax too much at this point. That was a bit of a misfire that may, uh, he didn't get the off, but this, this may work out to his advantage. It may allow Jeremy to extend play outside of the center for a bit longer. So here we go. There are two of Simon's buttons on Jeremy's side of the board and nice little hit and stick. Oh no. I expect Simon was looking to clear there to basically, because he's down in the 20, Simon has to get play back to the middle. And there he goes, he gets the, the one. And then I'm sure Jeremy was trying to hide behind the peg there. Not a very good hide. It's going to give Simon the opportunity to peel it off, but by by extending that, that play out the side, out, outside of the center, well, all of a sudden we're down, there's only two shots left each, which just gives Simon much less time and opportunity to get back into this round. And uh, Jeremy drains the 20. Now it's uh, it's pretty much sealed for this round. A little, uh, little salt in the wound there with a, a follow through 20. And uh, yeah. Wow. Wow. So Jeremy takes that first round, so he's up 2 nothing in this match. One of the things you'll find if you sit down with one opponent then uh, and play, you can uh, it can start one way and then the tide will turn. It can turn if they're if they're evenly matched. Obviously, if one uh, if one player is a lot stronger, that may not happen. But when they're they're evenly matched, it can end up going back and forth a bit. And Simon's getting back on form with his open 20s. Jeremy misses, which uh, it's not how you like to start around, but lots of uh, lots of bullets left. Now, especially just in uh, in casual play like this, I know Jeremy likes to do things like this. The old self assist. If you check out our self assist, oh, check out our self assist video here. It's it's actually pretty darn good because uh, he's set up for a 20 on his next shot and uh, Simon's Simon's pretty aggressive with what he try what what he'll try on the board so we'll see uh, he's going for it oh and he managed to go through his own get a, a valid shot the uh, <laughs> the great thing about that self-assist was the probability of, of Simon making an error and taking both of his own off was very high. It was a that was that was a pretty incredible wait, shot. Wait. And now, uh, because Jeremy was down in twenties, he was being a little aggressive, going for that follow-through, oh. set Simon up, but Simon didn't take advantage of it. So yeah, it's kind of a battle of errors oh. at this point. Nice. He's touched 20, so they're even in the 20 count, and Jeremy has hammer, so he's uh, feeling pretty good about this round so far. A great hide. Again, Simon is going to be forced to either try to go through his own, and he does. Fearless, that fella. Another darn good hide. Like uh, he's probably going to go through Hogan's alley. It's going to be that's going to be the the best shot that he's going to have is to go through Hogan's Alley. That's going to give him the widest, the widest button to contact. And he misses on that one. So Jeremy pretty much in control of this round. That bounced back on, right? Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say he threw it away. That was... Yeah, he hits it that time. Now it, this isn't this isn't a gimme because there's definitely yeah what he did was he blasted that and all he needed to do was get Simon's off and the only way that a shooting hard could have gone wrong was if somehow if he had knocked the green one off that is out in the five so because yeah if he had just tried to do a, a, a lighter takeout it could have hit a peg come back kicked his own on and he could end up losing on the board which yeah. When they're sitting right at the edge of the house like that, it's definitely, definitely not a gimme. All right. Dialed. 
see if both players can oh, find their nope. I'm gonna say both players can find their groove maybe for open twenties, but nope. Jeremy with the first miss. Oh. Simon getting aggressive as he likes to do, but he just overpowered that follow through. Now we're back into the twenties battle. Let's see who's going to crack first under the pressure. Uh-oh. This time it happened to be Simon. Bit of an interesting angle here. I'm not sure. Yeah. I expect he was going for a touch 20 because just that angle it was at, it, the chances of getting the off and the 20 were pretty low. Oh, fantastic shot. Yeah. That uh, that was a, a round changer right there. I'm glad I stayed away from the center hole. <laughs> now Jeremy did manage to get the play back into the center. Simon uh, Simon having the the hammer in this one definitely has the advantage where they're tied in the twenties. Je Jeremy was trying to match Simon's ability no, to come off a peg, that, but, but uh, was unsuccessful. And now we're getting down to our last couple bullets. He's got to be aggressive here and go for a peg. Yeah, it didn't uh, didn't go his way. Now all Simon has to do is make contact in order to win this round. Yeah, and he does. Wins it on the board. I always, uh, when I play, I always prefer to win, but there's... Uh, competitive play is, uh, obviously you want to win, but com when it's competitive, when it's even matches, I always say it's a great round when it comes down to that last shot or two before a round is determined. That's the most enjoyable crokinole to play. And Jeremy with a very nice rollout there. So now we're into one of these chess matches. Simon wants to play in the center. Jeremy wants to play kept outside because uh, because he has the hammer. So if he can keep it outside, then you know they they if they just kept doing takeout, 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 then uh, Jeremy's going to win because he has the hammer. Now Simon has meant not only did Simon get it back in, that's a not a very friendly spot for Jeremy because it was so posted. He ended up going for that bounce back, and now Simon's Simon's got a a lot better chance than if things had stayed outside. It's still not great for him, but as you can see, he's putting a lot, putting a lot of thought into this one, and uh, it's the great thing like you go to an NCA tournament and it's a timed match, so it forces you to keep play moving, which is great. But sometimes it's nice to just be able to play like this and without a time limit. And uh, yeah, then you can just relax and, and put as much thought. You still want to be respectful to your opponent, but you want to put it. You can take the time to really think about what's your best. What's your best option? I to try to go through my own and get rid of yours on the far side. Looks like yeah. Simon is trying to line up for the double takeout here, which I mean, it's there, but it's not going to be easy. It's going to be. Uh, he's going to have to come fairly close to the one peg in order to in order to hit the first button at such an angle to actually accomplish that uh, that double takeout. Um, so yeah, need, uh, let's see what he does here. Is do commentary on this video and be able to stop the video and talk. Maybe. Oh, that's fantastic. That Great was uh, really well done. And uh, yeah, yeah, now having two on. Let's see, I think. Oh, yep, Jeremy, right. not to be outdone, right. wanted to match Simon's touché. double takeout. So yeah, as, t as Simon says, touche. We're back to. Uh, we're back to a single button on, so then the hammer, the hammer has uh, a lot of power. So here we are. Simon pretty much needs an off and a twenty, where he needs to get off and end up with his pe with his button posted again up against a peg, uh, so that Jeremy can't get it off. So uh, yeah, Simon Simon's in pretty deep here. He's probably gonna go for something aggressive because it's it's what we call hail mary time. Uh, go for it. I hope to catch a peg, drain a twenty. But uh, yeah, there's no light touch shot that's going to serve him in this in this situation. Yeah, yeah. They're they're talking about it again. <laughs> probably probably not going to see uh, competitors in an NCA tournament. Uh, you know, ma making suggestions to their opponent. They're just going to sit. Are you going for a follow through into a peg? Yeah. Yep. So yeah, sounds like Simon wants to go for a follow through into a peg, which he did. Wow. 
that was great and uh, just Sorry. didn't she didn't end up in the center like you wanted obviously Six, but it gave him uh, that was his best shot so another another round that came down to that final shot to determine it uh, Jeremy does pull out to win six to two and uh, yeah stay tuned because there's more of these head-to-head -head matches between these two combatants coming your way very soon